Welcome to WaverWise, navigating New York's 1115 updates, your go-to micro-podcast for the latest insights and updates on New York State's 1115 waiver. In each short episode, we'll break down the complex world of healthcare waivers, providing you with concise and clear updates on how these changes impact healthcare in the Empire State. Whether you're a healthcare professional, policymaker, or just someone curious about the evolving landscape of healthcare in New York, join us as we navigate through the intricacies of the 1115 waiver updates, offering valuable perspectives and key takeaways in just a few minutes. On today's episode, HSG founder and CEO, Jason Helgerson, gets us up to speed on the Medicaid hospital global budget. Stay tuned for your dose of waiver wisdom. The state's brand new 1115 waiver includes a pretty significant new public policy objective, which is the creation of hospital global budgets. For some of you who have been following the efforts of the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Innovation may very well have seen in in the not too distant past the announcement of the AHEAD program, which envisions states coming forward and uh, seeking to implement multi-payer hospital global budgets. In the waiver, New York State, in essence, is committing itself to participate in the AHEAD program uh, and participate in hospital global budgets, although the details of what that participation would actually mean are yet to be sort of finalized and revealed. What we do know is that the state's intent is to move forward with hospital global budgets in Brooklyn, Queens, the Bronx, as well as Westchester counties, so much of downstate New York couple of different views on this topic of hospital global budgets. Advocates for it point to states like Maryland and say that uh, when you take out the financial penalty for a hospital that really rebalances its services, moves from inpatient reliance to outpatient focus, that what you can ultimately get is a financially more sustainable hospital or hospital system and also ultimately a better mix of services for the community. Opponents of hospital global budgets are concerned that it potentially creates a permanent institutional bias within the healthcare system, meaning that the dollars associated with avoidable hospital use, so individuals who are today or in the past, recent past have been going into the hospitals when they really didn't need to be there, if we'd just done a better job of providing care to them in the community, that, that those services could be avoided in the future, and therefore those dollars were spent on those services could in fact be reinvested into other services. But by going to global budgets, the concern is that those dollars will be permanently locked within the four walls of the hospital, which will diminish the opportunity to really transform healthcare and bring it out into the community. So depending on where you sit on that divide, will determine those two positions will determine what you think about hospital global budgets. But regardless of your position and your thoughts on the concept, it is significant that in this waiver that the state is clearly signaling its goal, its objective of moving in this direction, even before the AHEAD program applications by states to the federal government are in fact due. Lots more detail to come out on this, uh, its implications, uh, particularly for New York City on the New York City healthcare system are, are great. We at HSG are monitoring this along with all aspects of this new exciting 1115 waiver program. Lots more will be coming out from the Department of Health talking about the various programs and how they're going to be implemented. As I said, the details will matter for organizations to understand how they will be impacted, what their potential opportunities are, and uh, what uh, organizations can do to best be prepared to hopefully not only survive, but thrive in the new environment created by this significant new initiative. And of course, if you want to learn more, if you want to deepen your knowledge, please feel free to reach out to us. We'd love to chat.